Hello. Today's video will be about Volkov Commander. A wonderful and perhaps less known DOS shell or DOS file manager. So let's start the program and I will mention some things along the way. You have in front of you version 4.05. Volkov Commander was in many ways a very interesting software that um, few people know today about it and perhaps they consider it just another file manager but in some ways it is um, fantastic and i would like to present to you more about it well first of all uh, why it is fantastic it is fantastic because um, it occupies very little as you can see over here this is the whole program of course i have taken out uh, some uh, text files and um, some other files that are used for various uh, functionality like uh, help because I think this is not uh, required but the basic program takes just a bit above 65 kilobytes it's a wonderful achievement because mm, the moment you think about such a program that can have so much functionality you are already starting to understand some things that are uh, truly special about it Think about it, those navigator, not on commander, are uh, file managers that took from around one to five uh, megabytes uh, of space, depending on configuration and uh, options. And with something as simple as a Volko commander, you end up just requiring um, 60, almost 65 kilobytes. It's fantastic. And you have to think about the fact that uh, you give up very little features on such a small program. It's um, entirely coded in assembly and it fits so well the memory model of DOS that you may wonder how come other programs have not been able to do so. I think that uh, the most important uh, reason for that is uh, simplicity. It's just easier to code something in a high level programming language like uh, Turbo Pascal or C. However, when you're uh, looking at what this program does, it does so very well. Of course, it may not have uh, the functionality you may see in more advanced file managers, but I think that what it does and how it does it is uh, just uh, well and uh, I think this is what uh, matters the most. So, what you're seeing in front of you, it's actually a file manager that has um, a lot of options. As you can see, it's your typical left and right menu. It's a typical file manager that has a split view uh, for uh, files where you can very easily um, select and organize what uh, you are uh, trying to do. Like uh, moving, hopping files, understanding the structure, improving the structure of uh, various um, disk drives you are uh, having and partitions on the left side you can see a lot of options like uh, using various ways to show the the files and as you can see it's uh, a highly capable program you can have the tree view if you really like and i assume that you can very easily jump from one position to another as you can see right now although i think what i want the most and what is your typical way of operation um, is by using this uh, brief uh, way of seeing uh, files and folders because in this case you can jump from one place to another with the tab key just as you would do in just about any uh, file manager like uh, not on commander those navigators or others that use the same orthodox um, uh, file manager um, uh, principles so let me show you other things you can do you can sort the files as you can um, already guess uh, you have um, a lot of uh, functionality like um, changing file attributes you have to understand that file attributes in some ways seem so simple however uh, there are situations where system files or others are uh, having special attributes and you have to change them and without using a file manager you have to use a separate application um, in the case of Volkov Commander in such a small size you have already these uh, basic uh, features uh, you can use the quick search like you would do 
on uh, just about any file manager you are already accustomed with. Just press Alt and then enter the key and it jumps directly to the first file and then to other files, to subsequent ones that are having the same uh, um, key. So for instance, I think, let me see. I can uh, I remember it being a way to jump from one file to another, but uh, it seems that in this case the implementation is different. It doesn't matter too much because it's already enough for our purposes. Um, you can select uh, files very easily. You can select files based on different uh, extensions. So select a group and I can specify that I want only that files to be selected and they're automatically done so. You may think that those um, features are just so simple and obvious. However, think about it. In simple those you see nothing like the file structure over here and you can do nothing as easily as you could uh, in this uh, situation. So it's not as straightforward and these file managers were essential for working in those. Unless you got Windows and had uh, the functionality that comes from a file manager in Windows, uh, using a DOS one was great. And even if you didn't have, or if you do did have that functionality, um, still using uh, DOS and doing some things um, in a separate file manager was an advantage. I'm going to show you other uh, aspects that are already important. For instance, uh, having an integrated uh, memory diagnostic tool, I think is something you will not find in many file managers. And I think this is very helpful when you want to understand how some uh, things run. And I have to say that some of the information I have seen over here, it's uh, just uh, fantastic again for a uh, program that is so small and moreover for uh, a person that has only uh, used uh, these features from time to time. You see, everything you want to know about how this program runs and how much uh, memory each and just about everything else uh, takes and how much memory you have available because every time you're running a program you're actually deducting from the amount of memory you can use for other applications and if you have seen um, the message um, not enough free memory or something along that line you have to understand that your file manager also takes part of uh, the memory. So if you want just to run a program using such a program that takes so little memory, because you see that I have almost 600 kilobytes of uh, memory available, it's uh, simply fantastic. Um, and I cannot stress this enough, having a program that takes so little memory. This is essential when you have to consider that uh, just about any program you run is going to take uh, part of that uh, precious uh, conventional memory. So it's simply fantastic. And let's move on further. You can see um, all sorts of information available like directory sizes. You can compare directories and other things that I'm not going to show too much over here, but keep in mind that you have this functionality out of the box. The configuration is quite basic in uh, many ways, but I think that you see already enough uh, options to customize a bit uh, the way in which the program works. And the right uh, menu is actually a copy of the left one, having um, similar options that you could choose to um, um, enable or disable based upon your preferences. And changing to your current disk drive is as simple as pressing Alt and uh, the function key, Alt F1, Alt F2, whether you are on the left or on the right panel. And as you can see on the lower side of the screen, um, every time you're going to press a key, you, your uh, options are going to be limited to the ones you have available. So learning a program like this and just about any file manager, whether you're talking about those navigator or not on Commander, it's very easy. As soon as you're pressing Control again, you see that your options are limited to the ones that can be applied to that context. Think about this in terms of functionality and ease of use. Um, in some ways, we have lost that functionality with uh, keyboard shortcuts, and sometimes you have to think about where 
and what those shortcuts are. In older programs, these um, aspects were presented much more obviously, particularly because you would not have uh, access to uh, mouse. However, I'm going to show to you that uh, the mouse or the cursor can also be used. So, just a moment. Okay. So, the only functionality that I see right now not as not being um, usable is the drag and drop one and more advanced file managers or ones that um, had more um, uh, features and had more memory could be using that. But still, I don't think that this is as bad as it sounds. The fact that you cannot press on a directory or a file and then just send it to uh, the other uh, or to another to the other panel or to another location on the same panel, on another directory. But this doesn't matter because I would like to show to you uh, something else that matters a lot on these file managers. You have the file viewer functionality. In this case, you are seeing a, a binary file and I'm going to try to show to you something else that is uh, quite uh, full. And you can jump easily using the page up, page down. You can even search in this file very easily or present it as um, in um, hex functionality. So if I'm going to press F4, I'm going to see it in SG or in uh, hex and I can do searches. So if you're using those programs, it's essential to be accustomed to a file viewer like this. Of course, it's quite a basic functionality, but think about it again in 65 kilobytes. That is a fantastic achievement. And whether you can believe it or not, you also have a file editor, a full file editor. You can write something and you can save the file. And then when you're going to look at it again, it saves that in 65 kilobytes. It's uh, a fantastic achievement in terms of uh, memory and programming efficiency. And you may wonder, well, does it have any other benefits besides being very small? Yes, it does. This program can run much faster on um, a lower spec computer than not on Commander or DOS Navigator could. And you may wonder how can this be possible just due to the amount of memory it takes? No. Because uh, programs in general have also have another uh, feature that you may not know of. Some programs run in standard mode or uh, sorry in real mode which means that they can address directly uh, DOS and they do not use any sort of uh, workaround for uh, the DOS memory limitations. Volkov Commander is one of them. And when we are looking at the amount of memory that uh, it takes, it's quite obvious that this is the case. It's a program that takes very little memory. Uh, when programs require access to more memory and features, they typically use what is called an overlay. And this means that the program can load additional functionality, but it has to use something along the lines of a paginated memory, which means that it addresses memory indirectly. And most of the program's operation is not done uh, by directly addressing the memory. And this already creates an environment where um, the operation of uh, uh, working with that program already takes slightly more CPU power to work and it feels uh, laggy. You may wonder how much can you feel that? Well, a lot. And particularly on um, older computers like a 386 or 486, the difference is noticeable. And even on a 486 uh, that is at uh, 100 megahertz, still you're going to feel that Volkov Commander is faster than any other uh, DOS file navigator or uh, DOS uh, file manager, DOS shell, whether you want to call it uh, uh, that way or in another way, it's uh, your choice. So still it has a lot of uh, importance. And moreover, there are few programs that are not even working in uh, this kind of uh, overlay memory environment. They use protected mode. And in that case, they are even slower than the overlaid uh, memory model that uh, some more advanced file managers use. So um, just about any file manager based upon the technology 
that was used by the developer and the goals they had in mind can be uh, most likely slower than one that uh, directly addresses the memory and works within these limitations. So the gist of it is that Volkov Commander 4 is a wonderful version. I have to say that uh, newer versions like such as uh, 4.99 released also by uh, the same developer uh, back in early 2000s had uh, departed slightly from this approach of uh, using uh, the real mode uh, memory addressing model and uh, this meant that the program um, used slightly more memory. Although it's still efficient, um, it uses probably around uh, two times the same, uh, two times the, the amount of memory and it's not probably as fast as it could be because now uh, memory is not addressed directly. Even if it's written, written in assembler, which means that it's already faster than a program written in uh, a high-level programming language like uh, Pascal or uh, C. However, you have to keep that uh, in mind. So uh, we are looking today at a wonder of programming that is uh, Volkov Commander, which, if I uh, understood correctly, was uh, developed by um, an Ukrainian uh, programmer many years ago. So I think it's a fantastic achievement and I hope uh, you will also enjoy and download the program. I will leave a um, uh, mention on the uh, video's description about uh, how you can uh, find uh, this uh, program and see if it's uh, useful to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.